welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. We just got back from Costco. We did a little family trip and I have to tell you the mountains were beautiful. I wish I could have captured like all of the mountains because it's like 360 degrees like of mountains for us. And they're just all covered in snow because we have been getting tons of hail and snow and rain around here. So it was just beautiful. But anyways, I am going to show you guys what I got. Uh, in a little hall right now and I'll probably do it voiceover style because it's going to be getting a little loud around here and then I will be whipping up some dinner and putting the groceries away as well. So let's get into this. So first and foremost we are taking care of this premium ice cream. I've said this before I love this vanilla ice cream from Costco so this was the only thing that was like super frozen that I needed to put away right away. It is a little pricier as you saw. I will be putting all of the prices on the screen as well, but in my opinion, that ice cream is worth it. Juan really wanted to pick up some of this chicken flavored bouillon and I wanted to stock up on some butter. It actually is cheaper to go the Costco route versus Walmart, which is where we usually do a lot of our groceries. And then the produce as well, these strawberries were a little bit more pricey than at Walmart but in my opinion, they were so worth it. There was not a bad strawberry like in the whole store. I, I couldn't find any container that had a bad strawberry. These were huge and they were just super delicious. These blueberries were actually less expensive at Costco than they were at Walmart. So it was a better deal to get the blueberries at Costco. So I'm glad that we picked those up. We also stocked up on some cheese and I will be bagging this up in a little bit to freeze. And then we also got some sharp cheddar cheese to snack on. I kind of like making my own little Lunchables. And we picked up some fruit, stocked up on some chocolate chips. Juan made me grab a second bag so I wouldn't have to go back to the store soon. Because you know when you go to Costco, you just find something else. Just like these dried strawberries. And you're just like, oh my gosh, I have to have them. If you haven't tried these strawberries, you must. They are... So much healthier than like fruit snacks, but they are, they taste like candy and they're just so delicious. So I had to pick up two, even though they are pricey because me and the kids love to snack on them. We also picked up some of this bread. It really freezes well. So I will be tossing actually all of these in the freezer because we are just on our last couple slices of our previous loaf. And then got some of this romaine lettuce, which again was a better deal at Costco than it was at Walmart. We needed to stock up on some dishwasher, soap, and some quart size freezer bags so that I could bag our cheese. And of course, you know, you can't really leave Costco without stocking up on some toilet paper. So that is our little haul. Let's go ahead and put these things away, wash produce, and so on. I am putting the butter in the freezer here. It just lasts a whole lot longer and pretty much whenever I'm done with one or two boxes that are in the fridge, I take one from the freezer and just put it in the fridge to keep my stash going well. And the way that I wash my fruit is I just kind of soak them in vinegar and water and then I rinse them off. I'm using kind of the whole sink here just because I didn't have like really like a bowl big enough that I wanted to get dirty. I'd rather just drain the sink and have it be like that. So while these berries are soaking, we are going to be putting some of our other things away and preparing some of our snacks. Sorry. 
Now I know cheese is like spilling all over the place, but I have my little snacker who's coming and grabbing any of the little scraps off the counter. So I didn't feel too bad if I did spill, but in general, I try to, you know, actually make it in the bag. I'm going to be storing the cheese. So now that these berries are rinsed and clean, I'm going to be storing some of them in these Dollar Tree fruit storage and fruit and veggie, I guess, storage containers. We're going to be leaving some out for dinner and I'm going to be chopping up some of the strawberries just so it's easier for me to give them to Jack when he's hungry. And those are going to be stored in a container that I will use first out of the fridge. I just can't let you go. 
Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one No one likes being like to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us So next up we are going to be bagging the dried strawberries and I'm using some like leftover breast milk storage bags. I have a ton that we got when Juan was in the army like we just got like more and more bags each month we could go and grab and so I've just been using them as snack size bags. They're perfect like portion size and they actually fit like two servings of the strawberries in them so this is perfect for when we go out. I can give some to Aubrey. I can enjoy some. We're not overindulging in these things, but they are still like a very filling and yummy snack. I'm gonna burn all the bridges between us. So as you guys saw when I put my little extra bags away and as now as I'm putting my chocolate chips away, my overflow stockpile is a little bit messy. So I'll definitely have to be organizing that. Maybe I'll do that in a future video. But let's go ahead and talk about this salad that I'm making. I am just like salting a chicken breast. I don't really want it to be overly seasoned because I'm going to be having it with barbecue sauce which is very flavorful anyways so that's why I'm just salting it and I'm cooking it at 375 in my air fryer and it will end up cooking for just about 15 minutes and it will be fully cooked through so while that is cooking I am going to cut up and wash my romaine lettuce and we're going to be saving the bottom portion and soaking it in water so that we can have more lettuce grow. I've noticed that when I do this, it's very promising at first and then I try planting it outside and it doesn't do so well. I just kind of get like a big stem that flowers and then I get seeds from it. But I don't really have successful like extra leaves grow. You can see one of my older ones that I put in and you, there's a little bit of green growth. And as I'm recording this voiceover, I actually have even more growth from that but I'm really hoping that I master the like plant outside and actually have it produce leaves and not flowers. Anyways you can do that I've, I'm doing that with like all of these romaine hearts the scraps or I'm chopping them up and feeding them to our chickens. 
but with the lettuce we want to put black beans corn i'm putting cheese the mexican blend but you could do mozzarella and then here in this other spot i would definitely put some red onion and some tomatoes if i had them i don't have them then we're going to put some equal parts of ranch and barbecue sauce and give this a good toss and coat our chicken in barbecue sauce once it's done cooking and it is the most delicious salad. I have been making this like a number of times and I got the inspiration from a restaurant that we have near our house. I got the salad and I was impressed with it so much so I had to make it myself. So let me know down below in the comments if you give this salad a try. I would love to hear if you like it, what else maybe you would add in it, but I gotta say it's like one of my favorite salads now. I feel like fairly healthy when I'm eating it and it's very filling. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.